down here originally the original location of the original temple under the water and so i imagine if that temple already they never moved from it, its place the whole temple will be under water because the actual location is under the water right now 65 meters into the water The statue, the statue is 20 meters high, but it's carved out of the bedrock, the mountain itself. Because the whole thing was cut originally through the mountain. Okay, so uh, I did it, did the introduction of the museum, so of the temple here already. I did it at the bus. I know some people were sleeping. I can repeat it one more time, but not here. In our, so after we done the temple because we have a long drive we can repeat it one more time about how they discovered the temple and how they removed the temple from its place and how that delayed you know the you know the amazing thing the sun goes whole inside the temple the whole way to lighting the face of Ramses the second twice a year it used to be so October 20 the second and you know the uh, November 21st uh, but anyway as we said when they removed the temple from its place it doesn't work with them it gets happened del what, delayed one more time it happened you know one day so one day later but anyway some years it doesn't happen twice happen only one time you know that's why even imagine with our big technology we still don't know how they already, you know, uh, did have done that back in ancient time. Uh, you said they moved it? They moved it from its place because of the project of the high dam in Aswan. You know, uh, it's leveled the water behind the high dam, created the huge lake behind you, Nasser Lake. That's why we find out, as we mentioned, the original location is underwater. That's why I imagine if they never left the temple, the whole temple became underwater. Sand, the stone, very soft, easy to be eroded by water, could be melted by the water. That's why, that's the reason why they have done the project for removing that temple. They cut it, you know, into pieces uh, between 20 up to 30 tons. Guys, look at the photo here in my hands so please you can come closer that you could listen see the photos i improved it for you show you when like we cut in the temple into pieces so so they start to remove you know all of like the the you know they disassemble the temple from the mountain because anyway could you imagine moving a mountain i think that's impossible that's why idea is they cut the blocks of the mountain to disassemble the temple from the mountain then they start cutting the temple into pieces number it to move it piece by piece block by block to the new location it took four years you know and as we said it cost us four million us dollars back in the time between the years of 1964 1968 uh, about uh, the facade of the temple you know which is uh, right in front of you anyway i know it's right in front of you here but you get the facade of the temple you know of uh, you know the abu Sambu temple as we mentioned we have two temples here you know ramses the second here and nefertari the small one the favorite wife for ramses the second uh, and as we said that took 20 years during the time of Ramses the second you know after like 15, 15 years of his reign after done with the Kaddish battle he start already you know uh, making this and celebrating his victory on the Hittite you know and even as we said that you know for the reasons of the Nubian land 
that's at the top you see a frieze of baboon like you know the so the baboons while well, as we said they believe the baboons that every time welcoming the sun during the sunrise because when happen a sunrise the baboons are start to jumping and shouting that's why they believe they are welcoming the sun that's why they put a frieze of the baboon welcoming the sun or the so the god ra come to lighting the temple of ramses the second every day then underneath will be the titles of Ramses II himself, including the name of the daughter of the leader of the Hittites. Because you remember we said to be married to the daughter of the leader of the Hittites, that was a part of the peace treaty. Okay. Then you find this a uh, so, uh, human body like inside the, so the, uh, so the niche. There is a, a statue of human body with head of falcon. Horus? No. Rahur Ahti. Why? We said, he, so Horus, he wearing the double crowns of upper and lower, but here the combination between Ra and Horus. So, ho, so Ra, Hur Ahti, as we said, Ra was Horus in the horizon. So you see that the human body is very falcon, but he has the sun disk with the copra right in the forehead. This is the god Ra Hur Ahti. So, the sun god here and you see that to the right and the left the Hiru Ramses the second offering the symbol of goddess might m-a-a-t goddess of justice and truth seems I'm ruling with the rules of goddess might so I rule with the justice and the truth okay then you see the four sitting colosseus Ramses the second as we said each one about 20 meters high Carve it in the bottom of the stone itself from you know carve the whole thing carve it into the mountain but as we mentioned already they move it from its place that's why they cut it into pieces and rebuilt it again makes like an artificial you know dome you know like a kofa dam then build the temple put it in pieces then get stones from the mountain put it over that artificial mountain to create it it seems like same idea still cut into the mountain itself uh, by the way, all of the statues show you the Pharaoh Ramses II sitting on his throne wearing the double crowns of upper and lower Egypt but the one to your left hand side of the entrance is being destroyed because of an earthquake and why they never rebuilt it. You see some of the pieces of it is underneath, you know, of the statue. Already this is how they found it during the discovery by, you know, first the uh, Switzerland guy GL and second time who the one made it to the temple you know Giovanni Polzoni 1817 that's why we remove the temple as it is you know that's why we kept it down there you know but between the legs you see the mother of Ra Ramses II her name is Mutai and you know some of his daughters and you know the sons you know as so I'm on her Fibish if and you know uh, so uh, already you know how it was and even you get the Nefertari the most beautiful wife okay here can I respect is this the owner of the temple is Ramses the second that's why he made the level small but when you see how he respect that in the temple of his wife he made the statue same size as we said because he decided to rise her level from human to God okay uh, then you will get inside the temple, that's why the Colosseum sitting that seems re represented the pylon of the temple. Then you move in inside, starting directly by Hypostyle Hall. Uh, So the hypostyle hall, okay, so look at the photo. It's with the semi-Osiris style of Ramses II himself, okay. The one will be to your left-hand side is gonna be with the upper crown, wearing the upper Egypt crown. Because now we are in Upper Egypt, say I'm the Pharaoh of Upper, but the one to the right-hand side wearing the double crowns of Upper and Lower, to so say, so I'm the fear of upper, but also I'm a fear of lower. So I have the double crown, ruled Egypt upper and lower. And as we said, that semi-Osiris style that 
that tells good, you know, good sign for the resurrection, for the afterlife, showing the Pharaoh after he died is gonna be like also follow Osiris in the same thing, you know, that's why I turn it as a god. The ceiling, you see the vulture spread the wings, as we said, that the protector or the goddess of, Un, you know, Upper Egypt, the south, and she's like, seems she's up there protecting, you know, the people to get in and out from the temple. Uh, over the sea, so in the walls of the hypostyle hall, we get to see, you know, scenes of uh, the Kaddish battle. Okay, guys, Kaddish battle, Ramses II on his chariot fighting, you know, the Hittites or the Hittite, location of Syria nowadays, the Hittites. Uh, by the way, you know, uh, this scene is very important for a reason. When you look nicely at the scenes, you're gonna see two armies of the Pharaoh and two arrows and bows. So it seems like it has two hands. Okay, some people they said that overlapping of, you know, I mean, they would try to fix the scenes. You put a layer of, you know, uh, you know, plaster and they fix the scene. Then that layer, it's fill off. That's why you see those two armies of the Pharaoh. Okay, and the two arrow, you know, and the two bows. Okay, some others they said no. You remember when he was calling the god Amun Ra, you know, after his soldiers left him alone. That's why he was calling. That's why they said no. He was try to make the scene like that to show off this the supporter of the god Amun Ra when he comes to support Ramses the second. That's why one hand is the Hephaestus hand, the other is the god hand. You know, Amun Ra when he comes to supporting, you know, Ramses the uh, second. Again, as you've seen for Ramses the third, so the Pharaoh was fighting with his, his pet, lion. You know, that's why he has a lion helping him during the fight. Same thing we've seen it in Habu Temple for Ramses the third as well. You know, uh, also, one of the master scenes inside, you will see it. Here, Ramses II, during the fight, he fell off from his chariot. You know? That's why there is a scene in one of the temples, but it's not in our not part of our tour. But we've seen that he started to cut the rope. Because already, as you see, the chariot not for sitting, but was for standing. And it's pulled by two horses from the front. How you get stability? They used to tie it ropes around the waist to the chariot, like the seat belt. Okay? That's why when he fell off from a chariot, you see a scenes when he got his sword to cut this rope off. After that, you see he started fighting even without a chariot. And you see how he's controlling, even show you that control here in that scene as he catching the guy from here so he cannot able to move his arm. And push with his legs on the knee, you know? That's why, you know, that shows how strong he is and how clever he is in the fight. That's why, you know, he's holding his hand, pushing. That's why he cannot move. That's why he stopped beating him. While already there is some dead people under his feet. You see that? That's why also there's one of the master scenes inside. Here, when his soldiers after the feast, they see how strong our Pharaoh is, even after he fell off from his chariot, he never gave up and keep in fighting, and he was very strong. That's why after they done with the peace treaty, they went to him to take, you know, the forgiveness from the God. Hello. Okay, that's also one of the master scenes. Then finally, you will get to see the Holy of the Holies, the sanctuary, you know, the most important part of the holiest part of the temple, while you see four statues inside. First one will be to your right hand side, Ra Hur Ahti, the human body is that a falcon, so on this over the head was a cobra. Second one will be Ramses II himself allowed himself to put his own statue inside to be worshipped as a real god. Next to it, Amun-Ra, the man with the two feathers. To the left hand side is God Betah, and inside the Holy of the Holies, as we said, Giovanni Filsoni, he put, he put his own features. 
Uh, also, you see the Amun men, you know, Amun men, the symbol of fertility that gives also renew as Amun, he renew his power and energy fertility. Same thing happened for Ramses II himself because he made himself as a real god. Okay. Uh, that about the, the big temple here, for sure you will see the same thing. We explained that scene so many times, you know, for carrying the holy pot over the shoulder. Uh, right now about the small statue, the small temple for Nefertari. Look at the statues, it's the same size. As we said, that happened three times in history. Ramses, you know, Amen Hotep III and his wife, Queen T. Akhenaten and his wife, Nefertiti. Third time, Ramses II and his favorite wife, Nefertari, making the statues same size together. Okay, that's why, so he put like two statues of himself, while in the middle is the queen. Even look at that, you see that his head statue, because of her crown, even higher than the pharaoh himself. That's, you know, already, you know, kind of rising the level of the queen from humans to a god. Mostly of the scenes inside will be showing you the relationship between Queen Nefertari and her, the, the god and the goddesses. That's why, as we said, the tells she was already playing a big role during the time of Ramses II. That's why he tried to rise her level from human to a god. Okay. Also, Ramses will appear as well, but not so much to respect. This is, you know, now you are the owner of the temple. That's why I appear in some scenes, but mostly will be Nefertari. Funny thing. Uh, when you look nicely at the dresses of Nefertari, it's a bit different from one to other. Flowers, the perfume she's catching is a bit different from a scene to other. Why? As we said, when the woman makes like, uh, try to do like a, you know, a photo session nowadays, the every time after take photos, okay, let's change the dress and change the perfume okay that same thing happened in ancient time as well while at the end you know and even you know Ramses he was like also one of the scenes inside the small temple the coronation of Ramses the second from Horus and Sit his uncle that we remember the fight as we said they have placed the crowns open the head of you know Ramses the second and you know here when the goddess Hathor when they start to give the offers of goddess Hathor you know give the flowers as offering the pharaoh and behind him his wife Nefertari the most beautiful wife here you see goddess Isis and Neft so and, and Hathor so he said how you know the both of them they exactly the same guys you see the throne symbol of the throne guys Isis same thing but here is Hathor Hur is Horus Hathor do you know Hathor means what the house of Horus do you know that the goddess herself her name is the, ha the house of Horus I mean she's the house or you know the home of her husband See, that's why you get now the like the idea of the beautiful meeting that we've seen it in the temple. But this is how you know from here is Iset, Iset. So Isis here is Hathor. So Hora, so Hathor, the goddess Hathor. That's why you know you will see the relationship and give offers for the gods and the goddesses to show you the relationship between Queen Nefertari herself and you know uh, you can see the image of goddess Hathor that the woman face with the cow ears. You can see uh, amazing you know scenes of uh, Nefertari herself, the most beautiful lady. Okay. Uh, one of the most important scenes as well is the main image of goddess Hathor, which is the cow. Right here. gonna be the cow somewhere here. Uh, yeah. 
the, the main image of goddess Hathor, cow, you remember the sky cow, the holy cow, goddess Hathor, could be cow, could be woman, was a two horn of cow, some between them, could be woman face with the cow ears, so right now.